For some people, the cultural landscape of a destination is a bigger attraction than its physical blessings. But if you're lucky, you don't have to sacrifice one for the other. Welcome to New England. Rhode Island is in the southeast of the region and its Museum of Art is in part dedicated to the interpretation of art and design from diverse cultures ranging from ancient times to the present. Amongst the museum's most impressive collections is a stunning selection of works from the Impressionists. We have works in the Impressionist galleries by Monet, Manet, Degas, Mary Cassatt, Bert Morisot, a numerous artist. I think visitors who've never been to here before are really surprised and astounded by the range of works that you can find in the museum. Really, it's an extraordinary collection. I think there are a lot of people here, and in this community especially, who love the arts and wanted to establish both the school and the museum here, both for the benefit of the people who are in the industry, as well as the general public as a way to expose them to wonderful art and design. From Providence, Rhode Island to Stockbridge, Massachusetts, and if an artist's role is to help document the times in which they live, there are few greater exponents than Norman Rockwell. Well, Norman Rockwell was born in 1894. This is just about the end of the, the great period of illustration in the United States, and uh, became an illustrator of American culture. He did uh, covers for the Saturday Evening Post from 1916 to 1963. And those covers reflected what was going on at the day. You can actually uh, follow by looking at his covers for the Saturday Evening Post the history of the United States during that period of time. In the hearts and minds of the American people, he reflects their experience. And I've had experience myself standing in the Four Freedoms. When people walked in, I've seen people cry. It, is, it has that effect on people. And just to make sure your ears don't miss out on the cultural treat, head to the Yale Collection of Musical Instruments in New Haven, Connecticut. We have an array of harpsichords, clavichords, and pianos that surround us in this room. It's an important collection of musical instruments, chiefly from Europe and America, that documents the history of European and American art music. Well, there is a two-manual harpsichord by uh, Pascal Tasquin. There is a piano that was once lent to the composer Richard Wagner by King Ludwig II of Bavaria. There are instruments such as Haydn, Mozart, Bach, Handel would have daily used in this gallery. The musicians usually are enthralled by their particular instrument, the instruments that they work with daily. They see in depth here. To the casual observer, I think it's more something that relates to the social and uh, aesthetic atmosphere and environment that these instruments uh, were part of. So as this brief glimpse into the art and culture of New England draws to a close, please be upstanding for the British National Anthem. Mm -hmm.